Hi, this is Nell Foster for eHow.com and today I'm going to talk about lawn and garden decorations. Oh, we accessorize ourselves, so why not accessorize our garden and our lawn? There are many, many garden and lawn decorations you can buy, such as bird baths, bird houses are a garden decoration gazing globes, flamingos, garden gnomes, a beautiful bench can be a nice lawn decoration. Generally with a lawn it's a little bigger expanse so you want something bigger. You don't want to put something small in the middle of a lawn. A big fountain would be a beautiful piece, a big beautiful piece of sculpture. You could even go with something recycled or repurposed like an old ladder that you paint and you put plants on it. That would be beautiful. An old door or an old window in the garden against a wall so it really draws your eye back there. The, the same thing would be with a mirror too. An old watering can. I've seen many pictures of old bicycles with the baskets planted with flowers. Garden decoration. Wheelbarrows too. Full of flowers would be beautiful if you had an old rusty wheelbarrow in the garden. Beautiful! But now what I'm going to do is we're going to look at this small section of my garden and I'm going to show you some of the, of the decorations I have in my garden. Which is, this is very small, this area here, it's along the driveway. So the garden decorations are small. And I'm going to start with this globe over here that has the hummingbird on it. There's a little bit of glitter, it has a little bit of sparkle to it. It's right by the stairs to the house so I see it all the time. And tucked back here in the back of the garden is a pair of wooden shoes I got in Holland. They just had that nice little pop of yellow. The seahorse, that is the ultimate in recycling and repurposing. It's old shoe horses and bicycle chains. And, and it was made for my mother actually and I have it now. It's a beautiful piece and it's a real surprise because I have it behind this beautiful Laura Petalum. So it just, after you go around the plant, it's right there. And next to the seahorse also in metal is a heart stake. And that is helping to hold up the Laura Petalum because this is actually a shrub turned into a tree form I bought at this form. So this is actually part, this could be garden art. And now we're gonna go up to the tile on the side of the house, which is an adornment not only to the house, but to the garden. It's a beautiful accent piece. It's, it's attached on the wall. It's hand-painted tiles from Portugal, and it brings that beautiful pop of color right up there. I just, I just love to look at it. It's a very beautiful piece. And actually, art in the garden is popular, too. To have a painting in the, in the garden is a new trend. So even though I've had that for a while, I guess it's sort of a trend. And over here we have a bird with a piece of, I believe it's quartz in it. It was a gazing globe in the middle, but the gazing globe broke. I guess I don't have good luck with those who are right near the driveway. But, but I put that there and I, I think it fits right in nice and it's very, very subtle and sort of hidden so you don't see it. So I hope I've given you some ideas on how to accent your garden or your lawn. This is Nell Foster for eHow.com and I've just shown you and told you about lawn and garden decorations.